Most systems are marketed to save money from your electricity bill. I think it ignores the greater opportunity that is in the market, and that is having your own electricity and having control of it and making a profit from it. When you consider the average house can make three times the electricity it needs, which is all clean and green, there's quite a lot left over. Customers want to do something with the excess. They don't just want to send it out at the wrong time, which most solar systems are set up to do. Our system intelligently, what you might call, monetizes the spare electricity, and the goal is to give them an income on top of their free electricity. So many people, they just pay a fixed amount, cents per kilowatt hour, for their electricity 24 hours a day. If they have some solar, they can get a few cents when they feed it into the grid. But that never covers the cost of the electricity that you use at night. And all the retailers the customer buys electricity off, they have to make a margin. So they buy it at the wholesale price, put a margin on top and sell it back to you. Of course, if you have your own battery system with, for example, Red Earth control, so you can actually go onto the wholesale pricing, then you cut out that retailer middleman. At Red Earth, what you're actually buying is not a battery system. What you're buying is a private power plant. Part of the private power plant is a battery system, yes, but there's other components as well. And so if I get those value streams right, getting paid to charge your EV, your energy trading, down the road we're doing power sharing, there's some other sort of more cutting edge things you can do. And so they would turn your electricity bill into an income stream. I think absolutely people should see solar as an investment, um, but more importantly, I think we need to see electricity as an asset. It has an inherent value, and that allows you to think through what are the ways I can get the most value for that asset. We have always been focused on not just providing a storage for electricity, but also constantly looking at those use cases that could use that excess electricity to make customers money. It takes a lot of discussions and work with customers. It takes a lot of investment developing these sorts of tools and these sorts of capabilities. So really that huge time and the energy we've devoted to making that happen is the difference for Red Earth Systems compared to the rest of the industry. If you could imagine the price of a share, starting at zero at midday and then going up to $3 in the evening, everyone will be buying at midday. That's exactly analogous to how we orchestrate a private power plant for customers' benefit is just taking advantage of that price fluctuation. The numbers are typically about seven years payback for, for an ordinary system with no optimization capabilities. So at the moment, our customers are looking at between 2.5 and 4.5 years. It adds value to the home. I don't know how much yet. Maybe between 5 and 15 percent, let me guess. You're buying an income stream when you buy the house. The customer focus, I think, is very important. Everything they say, even if it's tiny, comes back to our R&D department. Our battery systems, of course, are scalable, uh, so we can just uh, add a battery or two batteries as the need arises. So if your usage does go up, you get uh, elderly parents move in, have another baby, get a new appliance. It may be a year or two before you get a, an electric vehicle, so you can start with a couple of batteries now to get you through. Once that system's paid it for itself, then you can add a few more batteries to it. Yeah, a lot of systems on the market uh, are the sort of big battery blocks, and they want it to scale up, for example, if it's even possible. Now, a lot of the time that's financially not, not viable. So scalability is extremely important. And being able to go in with a, with, with a smaller uh, battery system, it might just be uh, more economical for people to start that way and, and build slowly. With a Red Earth energy system, we've built our systems with the end user, with the customer in mind. So you know, we had to be a bit clever that we weren't just shifting boxes out there like everyone else. So it's never been a better time to buy Australian. Australian made, Australian owned, built for Australians, by Australians for Australian conditions. Mm -hmm.